Friday 28-2015, this stray cat came in on 24th August as the caregiver or the a kind teacher, a young lady, found that uh, the cat has not been uh, eating and has been drooling with the saliva in the mouth. Yeah. This cat is quite... Uh, still drooling a bit. It's quite uh, f ferocious now because she's been, she has recovered from the IV drip and, uh, and uh, antibiotic treatment. So I can't examine her mouth. But she did pass motion and add pass a few solid stools. Now as the cause of the drooling, it was due to tongue ulcers. Now we did the FIV test and uh, it was negative. Oh. FIV, FIV test was negative. And uh, the blood test shows that there's a high glucose level of 24 point of 26.6 on the date of uh, admission. Further down, you can see that the urea is very high as well, 36.3 as compared to 4.2 to 6.3. But the kidney, the creatinine is okay. The creatinine level is okay. So there is no, no sign of kidney failure. This is creatinine. The level is normal. Then uh, we look at the white cell count. The white cell count is 17, which is a bit high for a stray cat, a bit high, but you can see the neutral fuels went up to 90.1%. Neutral, neutral fuels and absolute number is 15.41. Now the normal is 60 to 70%, and the absolute is 3 to 11.5. So there's, there's dehydration, but the important thing is this, the platelets. Platelets are very low. They normally the sign of toxemia, in this case is most likely a septicemia, because the caregiver, a young lady teacher, noticed that this cat was drooling and quickly brought her down for treatment. And she agreed to a blood test because most caregivers of stray cats, they, they don't want to spend money on anything. Uh, just ask for antibiotics injection, but uh, this lady has been very kind to, to this cat. Now you can see that uh, as compared to yesterday or day before, this cat is now much better and more more uh, a usual self of uh, defending herself from strangers. She's believed to be at least 10 years old, has the young lady that has been seeing this cat for the last 10 years. Now the food I gave is the WD and she did eat it. She did, did drink water. Now although the blood glucose is high, it's, it's uh, difficult to confirm whether this cat has diabetes or not because uh, overall it seems that uh, she doesn't have an excessive thirst or excessive uh, hunger so the cat's been here for four days and we'll be going home going back to the young lady's apartment I asked her to keep inside the apartment and uh, let her recover from the toxemia. It's most likely a toxic. The stray cats they they step all over the the external areas and might have got uh, toxic toxic liquid spatter onto their bodies or the feet. So you can see the drooling. The, the saliva stains when the cat is drooling, you can see that uh, 
the pores are stained. You can see that this cat is really very worried about foreigners. I guess she wasn't well, well treated when she she's a stray cat. Papaya vets, August 28, 2015, Friday. Singapore, a lady, young lady who loves and cares for a stray cat over the past 10 years.